Good day. So we proceed to our next uh, topic. So this is for the uh, design and analysis of uh, members okay, subjected to uh, both uh, bending and axial uh, tension. So we'll be needing this interaction formula. So we have okay, the first one. If the P sub R or that is the required axial uh, tensile strength. So P sub U for LRFD and PA for uh, ASD okay, divided by PC. So PC is the design tensile strength. So, or the allowable at uh, tensile strength is greater than or equal to 0.2, we'll be uh, using this interaction uh, formula. Then for the second one, if the PR over PC is less than 0.20, then uh, this one will be the applicable uh, formula. So, when do we have uh, members uh, subjected to both uh, bending and axial uh, tension? So, these are some of the examples. So, for example, we have this uh, member with, which is uh, eccentrically uh, loaded. So, we have this uh, P sub U has an axial, yes, an axial effect to the member. But because of this eccentricity, that will cause uh, a moment. So, it is a both uh, axial stress, which is under tension and a bending moment. So, by this M, which is equal to, okay, that is the P sub U times the eccentricity. Then okay, for the next example, we have this hunger subjected to an axial tensile load and a lateral uh, load. So for example, wind or other moment okay, from lateral uh, forces. So this P sub U will cause the axial stress. This uh, wind load will cause okay, a, bending, okay, a bending stress or a bending uh, moment. Then okay, the common one is so we have a beam subjected to a uniform uh, gravity load and axial tensile a load. So these are just uh, three of the examples of uh, possible members under bending and axial tension. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so let's have this example. A 50 KSI W12 by 40 tension member I with no holes is subjected to uh, the axial load. So for the dead load, we have 110 kN. And for the uh, live load, this is equal to 133 kN. As well as a bending moment. So a dead bending moment with respect to the y-axis, MDY, by 13.6 kN per meter. And a live load moment with respect to Y, that is 33.9 kilonewton a meter. So we are required to check if uh, the member is uh, satisfactory if the unbraced length L sub B is less than L sub P. If L sub B is uh, less than L sub P, if we are to uh, recall the design and analysis of flexural member, okay, this is under, okay, under, zone number, okay, under zone number 1. So we list down the properties of uh, W12 by uh, 40. Okay, so we have its uh, area, okay, the plastic section modulus with respect to the x-axis, and the plastic section modulus okay, with respect to okay, the y-axis. So let us uh, compute okay, the needed uh, elements for our interaction, uh, interaction formula. So we have the PR and the uh, PC. So uh, first, uh, so let's have okay, the value of uh, the PR. So we'll be doing uh, the LR, okay, LRFD. So for PR, it is okay, the 1.2 or again, if it is LRFD, okay, that is the same as the P sub uh, U, which is equal to 1.2 of the uh, dead load okay, plus or the 1.6 of the uh, live load. So for the value of the PR, this is equal to okay, 1.2 of 110 plus uh, this is 1.6 of okay, 133 kilonewtons. So this is the value of the PR is now equal to okay, this is a uh, 1.2 of uh, 110 kilonewtons okay, plus okay, we have the 1.6 of uh, 100, 133 kilonewtons. 
So we have that as 344.8 uh, kilonewtons. So 344.8 uh, kilonewtons. Uh, so we have that, okay, the value of uh, PR. Then for the uh, value of RPC, uh, this is the same as, uh, that is the same as our nominal moment capacity, okay, the value of the PC, that is the design, okay, that is the design tensile strength. We have P of P sub uh, N. So we have, uh, this is the same as uh, our reduction factor P, then P sub N, uh, which is equal to, this is a P multiplied by Fy. Since okay, for this a member, we don't have holes. So we'll be using the area, okay, area gross. Okay, we're in okay, a reduction factor, uh, the value of P is equal to 0 0.90. So and that is under, okay, under LRFD. So computing for uh, the value of PC, okay, the value of PC is now equal to, this is 0 point, okay, 0 point, uh, 90. What is our FY? So FY, this is a 50 KSI a steel. If we are to recall, we have 50 ki, uh, kips per square inch. Okay, this is uh, 50 uh, kips per square inch is approximately equal to Okay, 345 mega uh, pascals. So we go back to the value of a uh, PC. This is uh, 0.9 of FY. This is 345 mega pascals or the newtons per okay, square uh, millimeters. Then what is the area gross for a uh, for the W12 by 40? So we have that as a uh, 7,000. So to be multiplied by 7,550 by square uh, millimeters. So as you can see, if you are to cancel out the if you are to cancel out the square mm, so the remaining unit will be in terms of uh, newtons. So we are multiplying a uh, one uh, kilonewton is to a uh, one thousand uh, newtons. So we have now the value of our uh, PC is now equal to okay, we have a uh, point nine of three hundred forty five to be uh, to be multiplied by Okay, to be divided by 1,000, okay, to be multiplied by the area, this is 7,550. Okay, so we have that as uh, 2,000, okay, 2,344.275 point, okay, point kilonewtons. So based on our interaction formula, okay, we need to check if uh, the ratio of a uh, PR over PC is less than or greater than a uh, point two. But I think this is uh, this one is uh, obvious since our PR is only uh, three hundred forty four point uh, eight. So let's have the ratio of PR over PC is equal to uh, three hundred forty four point eight. Uh, to be divided by uh, two thousand three hundred forty four point uh, two seventy five. And this is equal to, okay, so we have 344.8 uh, divided by okay, 2344.275. And that is 0. Point, okay, we have 0. 0.147, which is obviously okay, less than okay, 0. 0.2. So since okay, the PR over PC is less than 0. 0.2, so we'll be using okay, the second equation. So this is the PR over 2PC plus okay, we have MRX or the quantity MRX okay, divided by MCX plus MRY divided by the quantity MCY is, should be less than or equal to uh, 1.0. Then okay, for the value of our MRY, so MRY, so again this is under LRFD. So MRY is equal to 1.2 of the moment okay, for the uh, dead load Y plus okay, 1.6 of the moment I okay, live load with respect to okay, the y, uh, y axis. So we have that as uh, 13.6 and 33.9 kilonewton a meter. Okay, so for the value of okay, we have MRY is equal to uh, this is uh, 1.2 of the 13.6 uh, okay, plus okay, the 1.6 of okay, we have 33.9 kilonewtons. So again, we uh, 
we have to check the values. So 13.6 and 33.9 kilonewton meter. As we have the moment, MRY with respect to the y-axis is now equal to, this is a 1.2 of 13.6 plus the 1.6 of 33.9. So we have that as a uh, 70 point uh, 56 uh, kilonewton a uh, meter. Okay, so let's have uh, the value of MC, MCY, the design flexural uh, strength. So since this is under a uh, zone one, okay, under zone one, the value of our MCY is simply uh, the P sub MN. Uh, with respect to the y-axis and this is the same as we have p uh, multiplied by f y multiplied by d a uh, plastic uh, moment so since uh, the given moments are with respect to the y-axis as you can see m d y and m l y and we don't have a moment with respect to the x-axis so we have m uh, m r x is simply equal to zero Okay, so we are neglecting uh, the moments uh, with respect to the x-axis since again, okay, for this problem, we don't have any uh, given. So we have, uh, we're using uh, the plastic section modulus uh, with respect to uh, the y-axis. So again, so okay, the given moments are with respect to, uh, with respect to the y-axis only. We don't have a moment with respect to the x-axis, so there's no a uh, given okay, of moments with respect to uh, the x-axis. So we'll be using uh, this is uh, the 275 uh, times 10 raised to 3 millimeters uh, raised to uh, 3. And again, for LRFD for bending moments, our reduction factor is equal to 0 0.90. Okay, so let's have uh, the required or that is the design. Our bending moment our with respect to the y-axis is equal to 0 0.90 and our Fy is 345 megapascals or this is the newtons per uh, square millimeters. Then to be multiplied by Rc sub y, again the value of Rc sub y is 275 times 10 raised to uh, 3. And this is 275 this is times 10 raised to 3 okay, millimeters or uh, raised to 3. If we are to do unit analysis, obviously, since this is a moment, the remaining units will be a uh, newton mn. So we are multiplying a uh, 1000 or uh, we are uh, multiplying. Uh, this is 1 kilonewton is to a uh, 1000 uh, newtons and Okay, 1 meter is to okay, 1,000 millimeters. Or simply divided by 1 million or divided by times 10 raised to uh, 6. So we have this is the design uh, ben, uh, this design tensile strength uh, with respect to the y-axis equal to uh, this is 0 0.9 of 345 and our pl uh, plastic section modulus with respect to the y-axis is 275 times 10 raised to uh, 3. Then to be divided by uh, 1000 squared. So this is 85.39. Uh, uh, this is 85.39. Uh, uh, the units now are kilonewton and a meter. Or kilonewton a meter. So we have now okay, MC uh, Y equal to 85.39 kilonewton meter. So we are now ready to uh, substitute okay, our values to our interaction uh, formula. Okay, so since we have this uh, PR over PC is less than uh, 0.20, okay, we have our interaction formula okay, PR divided by 2PC okay, plus this is Okay, the moment or the required moment with respect to the x-axis divided by the design moment uh, with respect to uh, the x-axis plus okay, the required uh, moment with respect to the y-axis divided by okay, the moment uh, the design moment okay, with respect to uh, the y-axis. 
and it should be less than or equal to okay, 1.0. So again, since we don't have uh, moments uh, given okay, with respect to the x-axis, so this should be okay, 0. Okay, what is the value of our uh, PR? Okay, the PR is equal to 344.8 kilonewtons to be divided by twice of 2344.275. At uh, 275 kilonewtons. Okay, plus, uh, what is our MRY? So, our MRY is 70.56 kilonewton a meter. Okay, this is uh, 70.56 uh, kilonewton meter to be divided by the design tensile strength for moment okay, with respect to the y axis is the 85.39 uh, kilonewton meter. So this is okay, 85.39 kilonewton meter. So is it uh, less than or equal to okay, 1.0? So let us uh, compute the values on, okay, on the left side. Okay, so we have that as 344.8 to be divided by twice of uh, 2344.275. A plus I the 70.56 kilonewton meter okay, to be divided by uh, 85.39. Okay, so we have that as 0 0.89986 or 87. Or let's say uh, we have that as uh, 0 0.8999 is less than 1.0. So, okay, we can conclude that okay, our section, that is the W, I think that is the W12 by uh, 40. Yes, so for the section W12 uh, by 40 is uh, satisfactory. Okay, so this will be our answer. The W12 by 40 is satisfactory okay, to carry the uh, given loadings, so both axial and uh, bending.